What's up, YouTube? Coming at you with a quick video. And, you know, I want to try to discuss talking about addiction, man. You know, a lot of people struggling with addiction. A lot of people struggling with depression. You know, you know, we're, we're being affected by a lot in this life, you know. And a lot of times, a lot of it goes way back to our past. You know, some of it is hereditary. Some of it is, you know, some of it is, you know, two things that we watch. You know, trying to impress other people, you know, but addiction is a bad disease. It, 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 it's a killer, you know, it's a killer. You know, you got drug addiction, you got sex addiction, you know, you, you got people that, you know, you know, gluttonous, overeating. You know, there, there's a lot of addictions that we got out here. Now, remember, addiction is nothing but a spirit. It's not about the drug. It's not about the action. Right, it's about the thought process, you know. It's about the thought process. A lot of people they might, you know, can overcome a drug addiction, but that just because they're, they're not using a drug, that don't mean that that way of thinking is is healed up, okay? Because you can leave the drug alone, and then you can go right back you, you, to, to, to drinking, or 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 you know, indulging in all kinds of different sexual activities, you know, pornography, you know, just that perverted mindset. You know, there, there's a lot of addictions that are here to kill you. But I'm here to let you know that you can overcome your addiction. You can overcome it. You know, you can sit around a group, you know, share your story, you know, get, you know, feedback from other people, watch videos. You can do a lot of different activities to try to overcome. But those activities are not going to help you be delivered and overcome you know, from, that, from, you know, this addiction that, you know, you're dealing with or battling with. The, the, the first step to being healed is y'all know the cliche that's saying, like, you know, you got to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. Or you got to be tired of being sick and tired, you know. And that's really not a cliche. That, that's, that's facts. That's reality. Because you're really not going to change the situation unless you're really, really, really sick of going through it. Unless you're really sick of battling it. You know what I mean? Seriously. No? So, the first step is you got to look at yourself in the mirror. You got to be honest with yourself. Like, where are you at, at, you know, in your life? What is it that you want to accomplish? What are things that you're willing to give up to get where you want to be? You gotta be honest with yourself. So the first step is to be honest. You need to be brutally honest to yourself. That's the first step to overcoming addiction. You gotta, you gotta be honest with yourself. And then when you be honest with yourself, you gotta find a source that's higher than you. My source is my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's my source. Everybody don't got the same belief system. Everybody don't got the same, you know, so-called religion. Everybody don't got the same walk in life, you know, but you got to find a source that's higher than you. You know, I found my God. I know who my God is. My God gives me a clear mind, a clear conscience to want to change, to want to walk righteous. You know, then if you find that source, you got to be willing to put the work in. Okay. You got to put the work in. And no one is going to hand you recovery. No one's going to hand you a peace of mind. Nobody's going to hand you anything. You got to work. Your, you got to work for it for yourself. You got to be the one to put the work in. Okay. Now, a lot of times, a lot of people they see the end result. They see someone out there, you know, counting a million dollars a billion. They 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 see the billionaire status, but they don't see all the failure. They don't see all the work that was put in to get what they got. Same thing with recovery. You can see somebody walk around 20 years, 30 years clean, 40, 50 years clean, but you don't see the struggles laying at night in a bed by themselves, tossing and turning because they got that drug on their mind. Or somebody just just excessively masturbating or playing, you know, playing with, you know, on the internet at nighttime. With the cover over their head, with that phone or whatever, looking back at them, with that with those perverted images, you don't, you don't you don't see those battles, right? But you're gonna have to fight. You're gonna have to fight. You're gonna have to fight. 
You got to be tired of being sick and tired. You got to find your higher power. You got to find your source. You got And like I said, all my boxes in the ring, you have to find your why. Why am I in this ring boxing? Why do I want to fight? Why do I want to win? You got to find your why. What is your source? What is it that you don't want to give up? You know what I'm saying? Find your source. And let that be your motivation. Let that be the factor of you getting yourself together and not looking back. Okay? You can overcome this thing. You don't got to try to impress nobody else. You don't got to try to do what the next person doing. You got to be honest with yourself. Brutally honest. And I, would, and I would suggest too to don't put your business out there to nobody. Okay? Yeah, you find you had that said somebody that you trust. But <laughs> welcome to 2022. Trust is hard to find these days. So a lot of times when you have to lock in and do it by yourself. Okay? I'm not saying be a loner. Because there are trustworthy people out here. I'm a trustworthy brother. I'm a tr trustworthy individual that love to help people. You know? Be the best version of yourself. It's you versus you. There's no one else. It's you versus you. What is your motivation to want to get yourself together? What is your motivation to want to get delivered from what's killing you? What is your what? Some people got children. That's that's not enough motivation. Some people lost their job. That, that's not enough motivation. You know what I mean? Some people, some people lost their house. That's not enough motivation for them. You gotta find your motivation. What is your what is your why? You know? And be honest with yourself. Like I say, it's you versus you. It's you versus you. People come, people go. But at the end of the day, when the morning first start, you gotta look at yourself in that mirror. You gotta look at yourself. And you gotta be honest with yourself. What is that you wanna accomplish? Just some real talk right now. This is a really, really heavy conversation. And don't look at the next man. Don't look at the next woman. Because we all got things that we go through within this body. Within this crazy mind that we all got. You know? And just because somebody else don't see the, th see the way that you see things. Don't judge them on that. It might be easier for you to get clean. It might be easier for you to overcome a situation. So don't be judgmental towards nobody else who didn't do it your way. I love using that analogy where you got Mike Tyson. You got Muhammad Ali. You got Floyd Mayweather Jr. You got Javante Tank Davis. You got all these world champions, right? But all these world champions had different styles. So at the end of the day, they made it to championship level and they won the championship. They won the titles. They didn't fight the same. They didn't get up and do their road work the same. They didn't do their strength and conditioning the same. They all had different trainers. They all had different methods, but they made it. That's the same thing with recovery. You don't got to do the same thing the next man or the next woman done. When it's all said and done, just that basic form, just that basic format, man. The first step is that you got to be honest with yourself. You got to be honest. Find your higher power. Find your source. Find your strength. You can do it, man. Woman, you can do it. You can do it. The devil is a liar and he is doing his job. We see it every day. He's killing, he's stealing, and he's destroying. Don't let that be you. Find your why, find your reason, find your purpose, find your goals. All right, so to the next video, man. Y'all be good out there. I'm praying for everybody out there. I want to see everybody win. I want to see everybody with the victory, man. I don't want to see nobody losing their life before their life is supposed to expire all because of we committed suicide ourselves by dealing with this addiction. And like I said, addiction, it, it goes way further than drugs, way further than alcohol, way further than sexual acts. It's a spirit that we're fighting against. 
You can't fight spirit with blood. You can't fight, fight spirit with your fists. You can't fight spirit with a gun. You got to fight spirit with spirit. And my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God Almighty, he is the ultimate spirit. He's the true healer, the true deliverer. You know, let me just say this before I close out. A lot of people who think that they're healed up, watch yourself. Because like the saying goes, you won't know your true struggle unless you're placed in that environment, unless you're placed in that situation. And then you're going to expose yourself. So be careful where you go. Be careful what you listen to. Be careful what you're watching. Watch your company. Watch your conversations. You know? You can overcome this thing. You can fight this fight. All right? We all going to do this thing together. Each one teach one, man. Let's pick each other up. No hating. No backbiting. No gossiping. You know what I'm saying? Let's overcome this thing, man. Life is too short. It's tedious. It's tedious. We look at it today, man. Today gonna be here, today gonna be gone, if it be the Lord's will. Yesterday came and went, the day before came and went, last week came and went, last month came and went, you know, last year came and went, <laughs> the last decade came and went. You look at yourself, man, we're growing older. We ain't got time to keep playing these games, man. Find your why. Find your why do I want to recover? Why do I want to get this lifestyle up? I'm tired of this. I'm tired of being sick and tired. I'm tired of battling these demons. I'm sick of losing. I'm sick of it. It's time to pick ourselves up, man. Let's fight the fight of faith and stand on solid ground. Solid ground. All the smoking, the drinking. Let's give it up. It's time to fight. 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 Win this fight. Win this battle. You can do it. You can do it. All right? So next video, man, y'all be good. Straight up, man. Straight up, you can do it. Peace.